Download the iSolar Cloud app from the App Store. It's available for iOS and Android. Open the app and press Register. Make sure to select Distributor Installer as you won't be able to make commissioning for new plants with and user accounts. Select the European server and type in your email address. Click on Send Verification Code. Check your mails for your personal verification code from iSolar Cloud. Copy the code, go back to the iSolar Cloud app and paste it in the marked field. Create your password. Make sure to use big and small letters as well as numbers or symbols to make it more secure. Confirm your password. Type in your company name. If your company already has an existing master account in iSolar Cloud, you can connect the new account to the existing one. Ask the admin of the existing account to check the profile page for the account code. Add the code to connect the two accounts. Agree to the privacy policy by marking the checkbox and click on the register button to finalize the process. Log into your newly created account to add your first plant. Click on the plus button on the top right corner. Choose residential as plant type and then hybrid as inverter type. Allow iSolar Cloud to access your camera. This step is needed to scan the QR code on the Wi-Fi module or the right side of the inverter to start the commissioning process. You can either use the Wi-Fi network or the LAN network to connect the inverter to iSolar Cloud. We will start with the commissioning via Wi-Fi and show you the process via LAN and Ethernet port later. Scan the QR code on the Wi-Fi module and click Confirm to add the Wi-Fi module to the new plant. Open the Wi-Fi settings on your phone and select the Wi-Fi hotspot created by the Wi-Fi adapter. The name of the hotspot always starts with SG. If needed, enter a password. The password is the serial number of the Wi-Fi module and is printed on the label on the adapter. Go back to the iSolar Cloud app and wait for the connection to be completed. Click the button next to proceed. Select the local Wi-Fi network, enter the password and click Confirm. Wait to be connected, this may take some time. And then click on Next. The processing may take some seconds. Disconnect your phone from the hotspot of the Wi-Fi module. Click Next to add the inverter to the plant. iSolar Cloud will use your phone's location to identify the plant's location. Type in the plant's name. Check the other details and change them in case something is not correct. If you want to connect a battery, please choose the battery type and enter the battery capacity. Click Next to proceed. Configure the feed-in tariff and the consumption tariff if there is one. Click Next. Enter the end user's email address. He or she will receive an email to confirm the installation and access the plant. The customer will be able to share a viewing access of the plant with other people. Click Next. That's it. You're done. Generate a PDF report of the commissioning or go to your dashboard to check the plant. You can do the commissioning also via LAN cable instead of Wi-Fi. For this purpose, you have to scan the QR code on the label on the right side of the inverter. Click Confirm to add the three-phase hybrid to the plant. Click Next to proceed. All following steps will be the same as with the commissioning via Wi-Fi. Now it's time for the initial grid setup. Click on your newly created plant. Click on Device. Choose the inverter. The name will start with SH. Go to Settings and choose Initial Grid. Choose the country of the plant. If the country norm requires grid feed-in limitation, enable it. Insert the feed-in limitation value and the feed-in limitation ratio. 
The feed-in limitation value indicates how many kilowatts you are allowed to inject in the grid. The feed-in limitation ratio states the amount of the installed power in percentage which you are allowed to inject in the grid. The inverter will be able to limit his output power to avoid that the ratio is exceeded. If the plant contains another PV inverter, you need to add the power of the existing inverter here. Switch off the reactive power regulation mode. Enable the backup mode. Click Apply settings to finalize the grid setup. Click Confirm. And once more. Click on your newly created plant to check the details. Check if the plant status is normal. In the illustration you will see the energy flow from PV to the loads and grid. That's it! The commissioning of the three-phase hybrid has successfully been done.